It has been a busy summer for the Fire and Rescue Service, with a number of significant incidents and events taking place. The Kennington Avon Canal and towpath at Sells Green between Devizes and Melksham had to be closed on the 6th of September because of a fire. A number of vehicles and a large workshop were well alight and a safety cordon had to be put into place by fire crews because the affected building contained acetylene, propane and argon gas cylinders. The Cross Keys pub in Royal Wooden Bassett High Street was badly damaged by fire on the 21st of July. Five fire engines, two water carriers and the aerial appliance were needed for the incident, which saw flames spread through the first floor and roof space of the listed building. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the blaze, which started accidentally. A lightning strike caused a fire at this house in Durrington on the 22nd of July, which led to extensive damage throughout the roof and first floor. Six crews fought the fire and the aerial appliance was used to access the affected area. A man was charged with arson with intent following a fire at the Dream Lounge Club in Swindon on the 13th of July. When firefighters arrived at the scene shortly after 7 o'clock in the morning, they found a car had been reversed into the building and then set alight. Firefighters from Swindon and Stratton were needed to tackle the blaze, which was contained to the club premises. This bungalow in Marlborough Road, Royal Wooden Bassett, was badly damaged when fire broke out in its roof on the 4th of September. Some 20 firefighters tackled the blaze and the adjacent road had to be closed for some hours to ensure crew safety. A fire that severely damaged the roof of a semi-detached bungalow in Highclere Avenue, Lawn, in June started accidentally. Crews from Swindon, Stratton and West Lee attended and were able to stop the fire spreading to a neighbouring property. The elderly occupant of the bungalow escaped uninjured and was helped at the scene by the British Red Cross Fire and Emergency Support Service. Crews from Cricklade, Stratton, Wesley and Swindon were called to Chelworth Industrial Estate in Cricklade on the 29th of August after fire broke out in a factory warehouse for the furniture and manufacturing products. A number of oxyacetylene cylinders had to be removed from an adjacent building as a precaution. There were a number of significant fires through August involving barns and farm machinery. Nearly all started accidentally through heat build-up in the harvested crops or through mechanical issues. Such incidents can be very labour-intensive and when the weather has been hot, the challenge is to stop the fire spreading through the dry and brittle standing crops. Many of these fires were tackled by Wiltshire crews working with colleagues from neighbouring services and Wiltshire firefighters have gone over the border to assist in other areas as well. In support of Safe Drive Stay Alive, the Wiltshire and Swindon Road Safety Partnership is due to launch The Honest Truth, a scheme that provides advanced driving instructors with the knowledge and resources to give their students an element of road safety education during a normal driving lesson. This initiative runs in a number of counties already and almost 60 instructors in Wiltshire have already been trained. Over recent weeks, we have dealt with a number of large animal rescues, utilising specialist teams based in Amesbury and Stratton. We run regular training sessions for these teams and other firefighters, using the facilities at Wiltshire College Lackham and the expertise of the British Horse Society, and we continue to receive financial support from the local committees of the RSPCA to maintain our training horse mannequin. This mannequin played its part in an exercise held in Whittlestow in June, where crews from Swindon and Stratton tested their response to a collision between a car and a horse. The scenario saw the horse and rider thrown into the water, while a further two casualties had to be rescued from the car. Crews from the same stations took part in a joint exercise held at Royal Mail's Dorking Depot in Swindon on the 5th of August. The training was arranged by the Technical Fire Safety Department in conjunction with Royal Mail managers. For the company, it was a chance to test emergency procedures and complete evacuation of the site. For firefighters, it was an opportunity to test their use of breathing apparatus and instant command in a realistic scenario. The Lord Lieutenant of Wiltshire was the guest of honour at the annual medals night held at service headquarters in June. Long service and good conduct medals were presented to six firefighters by Mrs Sarah Troughton and the Chief Fire Officer made a number of commendations. 
There were also awards for Wiltshire Council's Public Health Department as Partner of the Year and Cricklade Firefighter Pete Price as Employer of the Year. We are looking at ways of extending the highly successful Salamander programme and there have been two well-received courses in recent months. Warminster Fire Station hosted a group of young people who had been referred by the youth offending team at Wiltshire Council while Swindon Fire Station held the annual course for the local Down Syndrome group. This salamander also saw instructors come in from Wiltshire Police, South Western Ambulance Service and the British Red Cross. A newly restored fire pump dating back to 1725 has been installed in the centre of Royal Wooden Bassett. An unveiling ceremony was held on the 6th of July and the town's current firefighters, together with their rather more modern fire appliance, were on hand to admire the display. Westbury Fire Station hosted a visit by eight children from Chernobyl at the end of July as part of a month-long stay in West Wiltshire courtesy of a local charity. The young people watched demonstrations by firefighters before being allowed to try some of the equipment for themselves. The emergency services show was held at Halavington on the 8th of September and it looks set to be a record breaker. Thousands of people attended throughout the day and both footfall and proceeds appear to be up on previous years. The show is organised by a committee of volunteers drawn from the Fire and Rescue Service, Wiltshire Police, South Western Ambulance Service and the Highways Agency and proceeds benefit charities that support the work of the emergency services. Planning is already underway for the next event to be held in September 2014.